guys, what's up you guys? It's your girl. Today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I thought it'd be fun. Also, I did dye my hair, and it was supposed to be this like light, like platinum silver color, and it looks like kind of greenish blue. Like it was not supposed to look this color. I like kind of like it, but like not really though. <laughs> anyway, today is gonna be a get ready with me for back to school because as most of y'all know, if you follow me on Instagram, I am going back to school and I'm starting school literally on Monday. Let's just pretend like I have school today, okay? Because this is gonna be like my daily school routine and yeah i do like to wear makeup to school just because like i don't know i like to feel cute at school you never know who you're gonna run into okay you never know who you're gonna meet you never know if you're gonna meet the love of your life okay um i probably won't personally because i go to fit right and um there's literally like five guys that attend fit um most of the guys there do not like girls sis like that's just what it is i'm gonna show y'all how i do my makeup what products i use and how i do it as quick as possible because girl i have to catch that train in the morning i am a commuter okay so we on a time crunch okay we on a time crunch like we do not have time to be lollygagging let's get into it first i already moisturized my face i use the lush um celestial moisturizer i love it it's my favorite for the primer we're going to be using this baby right here it is a smashbox primerizer supposed to moisturize your skin as well and my skin does get pretty dry especially in the winter and because I'm a commuter I literally have to walk like all day outside I kind of want to talk about a few things like because this is a cool get ready with me I kind of want to talk to you guys about like college life and stuff and like my college experience so far so I did go to college for three years I went to a community college local one in my town or whatever I live in Long Island shit was so boring I feel like I learned nothing I made no connections with anybody and it was just like really pointless to be honest once I prep my face I like to start with my eyebrows I use the Cabral by Benefit in the shade number four so yeah, I was at FIT like all week this week just for like orientations and student meetings and whatnot. So I was up in there and so far like I'm looking forward to it and like meeting all these new people and hearing all their different stories. I've been a loner my whole fucking life. I've been an antisocial ass bitch and I need to stop that right the fuck now because that's not gonna help me in life, you know? Being a cranky ass antisocial bitch is not gonna help me move forward. So I'm trying to like grow out of that and like step outside my comfort zone, you know what I mean? All right, now I'm just gonna use the L'Oreal True Match Concealer to like carve out my eyebrows and stuff. All right, that's close enough. So now I'm gonna do foundation. I mixed these two right here. So this is the NARS uh, Weightless something or other i don't freaking know but i have it in shade medium this is the pro glow infallible by l'oreal and i love this this is amazing for if you have dry skin because it gives you that glow honey i just mix those on the back of my hand and then put that on my cheeks I kind of want to start doing like college videos let me know if you guys fuck with that because I, I feel like a lot of you guys are around that age where you're like high school college just like in between or just chilling I kind of want to do like more like school videos like outfits of the week I feel like would be cute or like more like makeup videos vlogs or I don't know whatever you guys are into like let me know all right so the next thing I use is Tarte Shape Tape and I use the shade medium I'm just gonna use this to brighten up my face and stuff I love shape tape it's the only thing I use. It goes on smooth as fuck because you don't want your shit going on all streaky and looking disgusting. I put this on top of my lids too. I'm just gonna go my nails right here. Little right here, little right here. Then blend that shit out too. I also use like a dry beauty blender. I don't know, it just like works for me. I know this seems like a lot of steps, but like I be getting this done in like 20 minutes, like half an hour max. Then I'll just boop, boop, pop my lashes on and I'm good. Okay, so now that that's all blended in, I'm gonna take these two setting powders. This is the Airspun Translucent Powder. I got this at Target. And this is the Sacha Buttercup Powder. Yeah, they're super old. They've been through it, sis. And when I mix them, it gives me like the perfect shade for my highlight, like under eye area and stuff. So yeah, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna be commuting. And girl, let me tell you, I'm not looking forward to it at all. I feel like it's gonna be such a drag. I'm gonna be so tired. I'm just worried that I'm not gonna make the train on time. 
because when I tell you I cannot catch a train to save my life like I always be running late for trains I don't know why <laughs> if I don't catch this train on time I'm literally gonna just miss my whole class I feel like I'm just gonna wind up like staying my ass in bed like you know what better like next time I'm gonna catch that shit tomorrow <laughs> but I'm trying so hard not for that to happen but you never know right you never know so I put this under my eyes and my nose and honestly wherever I put that concealer the shape tape concealer to prevent creasing and all that so the way my schedule is set up is I literally have one morning class a whole lot of nothing in between and then I have a night class I fucked up because I waited too long to pick my schedule so now my schedule is fucking garbage I'm gonna be in the city so I can like walk around and explore and stuff and like I know my future husband is there somewhere so we can like look for him you know like we could just walk around looking for him just see like if he turns up I like to set it with a foundation powder so I mix these two They're both L'Oreal True Matte this is in shade 2 no this is in shade 2 this is in shade 4 so I put the lighter under my eye and then I put the other on the rest of my face I like a really bright under eye because I feel like it makes me look like a little doll the face is almost done I do want to contour a bit before I do that I always set my powder before I contour it's because I, I don't know like I feel like I don't want the contour to blend in with the foundation and stuff like I want to sit on top of it and be like crisp and clean but first i'm just gonna curl my lashes and put some mascara on okay guys so i set my face and i did my lashes off camera i also did a little bit of contour as y'all can see i think i need to blend it that should look a little crazy i've been really into these little little tiny lashes for school just because like we want to save those big long mink ones for the club sis we don't want to waste that on school okay especially because it's six in the morning like ain't no one got time to be wearing big ass fucking umbrella lashes all right I'm gonna show you guys my lip routine. This is my lip routine that I do every day. I always do the same makeup, guys. I never switch it up just because I like a nice neutral, like no eyeshadow, very minimal looking makeup routine. So I like a nude lip with some gloss. First, you want to moisturize your lips, guys. I just use good old Blistex. That is my ish. I love Blistex. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit of this foundation just to cancel out like the redness that's in my lips this is what makes my nudes really come off nude instead of pink it's always been a struggle of mine finding a good nude lip because of my skin tone every nude lip nude lip that i try ends up looking pink or too light or it just looks crazy on me and doesn't look nude on me so i'm gonna show you guys what i do so yeah we just put foundation over our lips next you will not line your lip any brown liner that you like is gonna work for this step so i use this eyebrow pencil i'm gonna zoom you guys in a little actually i do over Overline my lips a little just because um like i've said before my lips are very asymmetrical so i want them a little fuller on this side and then you just want to fill in the outer corners this actually makes a huge difference because it makes your lips look more rounder and fuller all right next thing i use is this nyx liquid suede and it is in the color 07 So as y'all can see, that looks very pink on me, and it's not supposed to be. So we're gonna take our foundation yet again and just mix it in with the liquid lipstick while it's still wet. Give a more neutral color. Then I like to mix it with this Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu. The shade is Nudie Patootie. And then I just like to put a gloss over it. I like this um, Mentha Supreme. I got this at Bath & Body Works and it's like a really minty lip gloss. So like it tastes really good and it smells really good. Also like keeps your lips moisturized like all day and kind of like smooths out the liquid lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks can get really drying on your lips. So I highly recommend using a gloss over it. There we go. Now it's like almost like the perfect nude for my skin tone. So that's how I do it. This is the completed makeup. And this is my everyday makeup, guys. This is makeup I always do. I never do nothing more. I never do nothing less. It's either all this or nothing. So that's the makeup look. I guess let's move on to hair now. Like I said, I just recently dyed my hair. I'm gonna take my hair out. Ow. Bitch, this shit is so ugly. What the fuck? Ew, what the fuck? I look so bald. Guys, don't bleach your hair because you're gonna end up like a baldy like me. Anyway, this is what my hair is looking like. I do have like gel up here and stuff because I had it in a... Like a sleek bun. This is my natural hair texture after all the bleaching and everything. So it's just like a like a little 
wave going down um i don't know if i should put heat on it like i don't even know what to do with my hair right now i have ultimately decided to leave my hair as is period now i'm just gonna go put on an outfit and i'll be right back so come on come on swim me some Ooh, I, come on come on swim me some Ooh, I, oh you thought we were dating i told you i'm playing around are you gonna come on come on swim me some Ooh, okay guys so here is the completed outfit keep in mind i do live in new york and i'm entering into the spring semester meaning it is fucking brick in new york okay it was literally like 20 degrees the other day so you want to be warm you want to be cozy but you want to be cute too sis this outfit is kind of giving me like 80s vibe i don't know i think it's like this teal color or like this aqua color but definitely want to be cozy because i'm going to be in school for like 10 hours straight so i'm not trying to be in some skinny jeans some fucking mom jeans i'm not trying to be in no jeans all right so we're wearing sweats okay this is the fit guys let me just run through where i got everything real quick these shades right here i got on depop you can get everything your heart desires and more on depop got this pullover on depop as well and it's like really really big i just tied it up in the back here so it doesn't look so humongous it is a diy I just stuck um, you know, different denim patches on it. I think it gave it, like, a really cool effect. I'm really fucking with this. It's brand new. It's really warm, too, guys. I'm, like, sweating right now in my room just wearing this. The necklaces I got on are this Playboy chain that I wear all the time. I got on Depop. And then this larger Cuban chain with the lock pendant I got off Dolls Kill. My pants are from Pretty Little Thing. They're just some, like, jogger sweatpants. They're, like, a charcoal gray. The shoes I got on are my trusty Jordan 1 that I wear all the time and I think it goes really good with the denim patches my bag I got off Depop as well it is a cause figure bag and on my ankles I got that Oporo anklet on bitch don't sleep link in description as the finishing touch to the outfit I do want to add a little bit of bling to the outfit so I actually got sent these lovely ankle bracelets from Oporo jewelry so shout out to them for working with me on this video and they sent me these two anklets I kind of want to do like an unboxing for you guys. Basically, this is how the package comes in. It has the Aporo label and it has their little business card, I believe. Oh, shit. Alright, so the packaging also includes this cute little duster bag as well as this little um cleany thing to clean off your jewelry, make sure it's looking nice. They sent me two and I believe they are different sizes. So this is the 12 millimeter, I believe, white gold iced out Cuban link anklet. You can find it on their website. I will leave all the links down below. It has this clasp like closure thing. So you just close it like this and then close the little side thingy. It has their little logo on there for Oporo. And this is just what it looks like. Super blinged out. They will not rust or fade as long as you take care of them good. Like obviously don't be wearing them in the shower. Don't be wearing them to the gym. I think I got these both in 9 inches. And they have free shipping. So you will fool if you don't shop on Oporo for all your jewelry necessities, girl. Okay, so I decided to show you guys a little bit how I style the ankle bracelet. I do have jogger style pants on so I did the whole ride up look with the high socks and I put on a fresh and clean pair of socks for you guys I just put the ankle bracelet over the socks I thought it was a look you could also just do it on your bare ankles if you're wearing like low top sneakers and low socks and I think that's cute too but I just wanted to go for the whole cozy look all right, guys, that is all I have for you today. I'm literally sweating. I can't wait to take this off, and my battery's about to die. But this is my first day of school. Get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Wish me luck on my first day. I hope I'll make a lot of friends and build some connections. I don't know, but yeah, if y'all are going to school this semester, good luck as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. I love y'all so much, and I will catch y'all in the next one.